content that I'll cover in this session, it's going to actually be a little bit too basic probably for some of you and most of you, but uh, I think it is important to cover it because somebody who is starting with using Word 2013 might not understand that this capability is already there. So I'm going to go over how to change some of these different, just a couple basic features here under the Home tab. So let's say we have some basic text. So basically to type text, you just keep on typing. And then as you type more text, the lines will go to the next line and so on. So it'll just automatically return to the next line. So again, this stuff might seem pretty simple, but we're going to tinker with this anyway. So let's get started. So we are working, let's say this is our document and we are working on the home tab. All of these features that I'm going to talk about here are on the home tab. So let's say we want to do just a title. So at this point, we just type a new title. And one of the things that you can do here, of course, you can adjust the font, make it larger, however large you want, and change the font as well to something different. But one of the things to keep in mind is that you can utilize this large capital A here with the upper arrow and the, uh, the lower arrow, this increases and decreases the font. And probably some of you didn't know about this feature, but it is here. The other thing is that you can change the case for the whole section here. You can make it uppercase or lowercase and so on. Automatically without having to tinker with it any further. You can remove all the formatting if you'd like as well. And of course, bold, italics, and underline, and all that type of stuff, it's here, and you don't need to, to me to show you that. The other thing is that you can change here, and this feature, notice it's available for all of the other sections here as well, on the ribbon, is that you can click on this little arrow here, and it will bring up a dialog box where you can customize multiple features at the same time. Notice there's an advanced tab here as well. By the way, from these windows, you can also change it so that you can set the default. So every time, let's say you want to use a different font for your documents, you can choose to set it as a default and then that will be always the default. However, be careful that because that will apply to any new documents that you create. Now, this title that we have selected here, we could also apply a style to it. And we'll get into style sometime later, but just for the sake of tinkering with it at this point. Then, here for these items that I listed here, it would probably be nicer to have them in a bulleted list format. So you can choose the bullet lists like this, or you can choose a drop down here and pick some kind of fancier listing. Next to it, you also have a numbering listing. So you, instead of using straight bullets or regular bullet lists here, you can use different types of numbering for an outline format. Of course, note as well here the whether you want this centered, whether you want it, so let's say the title if you want it centered or indented to the right or indented to the left or all across here. Across it would be in the case of a paragraph where you want it completely square from both sides here. Then next to it, you also have the line spacing. So let's say if I wanted a section of this document double spaced, all you have to do is you click on the line spacing here and change it in the case of college papers. You need to make it two spaces and so on, but this is where you change it. You can also choose different options to adjust it to however you want. So that's for double spaced. Notice you also have additional such so as shading and different lines here, borders and so on. So the idea is that, and I'm not going to go through every one of those features here, the idea is that you basically just tinker with it, select something and look as to what's available. Notice that if you hold the mouse on it, 
And this is the concept here. For learning Word, you hold the mouse on a particular item and it'll tell you, it'll give you an explanation as to what it does and what that icon or that functionality is. The other thing, as we mentioned in a previous section, you if you're constantly utilizing a specific feature, then you can even add that feature or that command to the quick launch toolbar, which is basically this set of icons here on the top, which includes commonly used tools throughout your document. Let's say we are using the double spacing all the time. You can simply right click, choose add to quick access toolbar, and now it will be up here for easier access. Another thing to consider is that whenever you select something like double clicking here or any of the wording and so on, by the way, you can simply double click and it will select the whole word. Notice there is a little toolbar. This is basically for you to format whatever you selected very easily without having to reach with your mouse to the ribbon for formatting. So you double click, make that bold, double click on that, make it underlined and so on. So that's another quick tip there on how to utilize this quick access toolbar. This is actually quick access formatting tools in this case. So the styles, we'll cover them in more in depth later, but basically the styles, you can format a certain section of the document with a particularly predefined style. Then finding and replacing. Let's say we want to find all, let's say 2013 here, and let's say we had the 2013 somewhere else here. And now if we want to search and replace this, you can simply select a replace. So we want to find 2013 and replace this with, let's say, Office 365. Because probably that's what Microsoft is going to do anyway. Take whatever ongoing version of it and name it Office 365 and just simply keep on upgrading and updating it. Click on find next. Oh, we need to find 2013 here. It found one and here's another one. And you can technically click here on replace all and it's gonna replace them all. So Word 365, Styles 365 and so on. So that's the search and replace. Instead of you having to look throughout the document, by the way, here under search and replace, you can do more fancier stuff, such as matching specific, matching the case, using wildcards, and using a lot of other functions, even formatting like paragraph, if it is a certain way, reformat it another way, and so on. So the idea here, and I cannot cover them all in this video, but it is that you explore it and see what else you can do with that feature. At this point, the key here is to expose you as to what's there. As far as under the formatting feature here, there's a feature called, besides copying and pasting, that you can try for yourself, but there is also a feature called Format Painter. For Format Painter, what that means is that it formats something a certain way, the Format Painter will copy the formatting and then you can apply it to something else. So let's say uh, I want the formatting exactly like this for another area. I can simply go here under Format Painter and then come down here, select it and then let the mouse go. So release the mouse and it applied the same formatting. So that's how you use the Format Painter in this case. So again, these are probably two basic, some of the basic features here, but they come in very handy if you get to utilize and save time. Again, the goal here is to just save time. Two more things before we finalize this session is you can either to select a specific word that we said earlier, you can double click on it, or you can double click, actually you can triple click and it will select the whole paragraph. So double click for selecting a specific word, triple click for a whole paragraph, or you can double click outside of the paragraph to select the whole paragraph. So if you're outside here on the left, single click selects a whole line, double click a whole paragraph. 
if you are within the paragraph, triple click whole paragraph. So tinker with it, draw it, and it should be fun to experiment with. Thank you.